What is up, YouTube? It is me, John Avenger, once again. Uh, this time I'm going to take a little departure from some of the shows that I've been talking about. I talked about the Blade TV series and Arrow. Well, this time I'm going to show a book that I bought a, a couple weeks ago um, at a dollar store. It's a really cool illustrative book, and it's from the very first in this franchise, which uh, it ends this year in November, and I can't wait to see the ending. And that is... The Hunger Games, the official illustrated movie companion. Yep, it's got the three leads in the film. Of course, you got Liam Hensworth, who I'm not a fan of in these films. Uh, but it does have Jennifer Lawrence, who I absolutely adore. I think she's beautiful and is a great actress. And you got uh, Josh Hutcherson, who I really enjoy as well. This has a lot of cool pics from the first film. It's got a lot of on-set photos uh, with the director that did, I think it's Gary Ross, who did the first film. I don't want to show everything because it would be nice if, if you guys, if you're fans of this franchise, this is a nice book to get. And there's a couple of pictures of, there's a Katniss when uh, they're picking the names out of the hat. And there's the books wait, right, right down there. Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay. There's a picture of Susan Collins who wrote the books, who I think she does a good job. I mean, the source material that they, too, take liberties with, uh, I think it's real well done. Um, you got this picture with all the the uh, tributes, the cast of The Hunger Games. Yeah, I think the cast is really solid. Besides Liam Hemsworth, I think everybody else gives a really good performance in this series. Uh, even, you know, late latecomers like Philip Seymour Hoffman, Rest in Peace Man, he was good in, in uh, Catching Fire and Mockingjay Part 1. Uh, Julianne Moore was good. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeffrey Wright. Uh, uh, Amanda Plummer. Uh, just, uh, it just has a really solid cast. Just one, one bad apple doesn't ruin the entire, you know, tree. Because uh, this girl right here carries this. There's a picture of Katniss running in the woods. And they're like, and a lot of people compare this to Battle Royale and The Running Man, but I see it as a standalone film. It's similar, but it's not a remake because it has a girl as a lead, which is different from The Running Man. It had a guy as a lead, and it was more of a game show than a than people killing each other like in the woods. So at least this did something different. A Battle Royale, yeah, similar to it's like a that was like the Asian Hunger Games, which I want to give it a chance. I said I will give anything a chance, even if it's something similar. Uh, like this. Uh, I really enjoyed this franchise, though, because despite its flaws, I know the first movie had terrible shaky cam, but the acting was really solid for the most part. Um, the, the atmosphere and the way people looked and the, the overall, you know, the tone of the film just really intrigued me. It did not bore me like, like the Twilight franchise. That was girly and boring and freaking tedious and the characters were unlikable. Katniss is more of a woman than Bella Swan ever was. And she knows what she wants. And she and Jennifer Lawrence has bring this character to life. I just I love her in these films. And uh, you know, there's some great things coming for her, besides the fact that she won an Oscar uh in two thousand twelve. I think I think it was I think it was in twenty thirteen, yeah. For uh, Silver Linings Playbook, which I still need to see. Or she was great in that. And uh there's uh Katniss in the in the uh tube. Right there. It's a really good book. I got to read the whole thing. It's been, I like illustrated books uh, for for most of these franchises, like Star Wars and Indiana Jones and and The Hunger Games and uh, and a bunch of other stuff. I mean, I, I love these because they're really collectible. I mean, they have horror films as well. They got the Crystal Lake Memories, uh, the Book of Friday Thirteenth, and Nightmare on Elm Street, and a bunch of other stuff. I just it's really fun to see. There's another picture of her. Badass with a bow and arrow, man. I waited for that for a while. I mean, I didn't see Brave. I know Brave came out around the same time as this. Look at that smile that she has. Really beautiful smile on her face. She shows emotion. I need a lead girl to show emotion in my movies or I don't give a fuck. You know, uh, yeah, so some of these girls like Rooney Mara and... Ke and and Kristen Stewart and and these the girl the girl that was in Vampire Academy just they give these lifeless performances and I think that I'm like you can do better this girl works her ass off and people love watching her that's why 
she's such a huge success and she's won she's won over a lot of fans from the book from the the film series and just in other films as well uh i hope this franchise you know it ends on a high note i'm gonna see mocking j part two when it comes out in november Oh, it's just a fad. No, I still will like these films even after the fifth series is over because I enjoyed them. I was not bored. You know, d despite the problems, I can look, I can overlook them because, you know, uh, I've seen much worse franchises that just got excessively worse, but this has gotten excessively better. Like from cat, from you go from this one and then you go to Catching Fire and Mocking Jay Part One, and I'm like, wow, Francis Lawrence really took this franchise to a new direction. And, uh, you know, I will see Battle Royale. I'll see it and see it up for its own, on, in its own right, you know, to give it its own merit. Uh, you know, PG, the PG-13 film uh, doesn't hurt these films because I think they're still pretty intense. Um, this is not a review of the films, just my thoughts on this on, on this series because of the book that I bought. Um, there's, uh, what's his face? Uh Lenny Kravitz's character, I think it's a uh, uh, Cinna. Yeah, he. I think he gets killed in the, the second movie. Uh, this this symbol, I've never hated. I thought I think this is really cool that they put a hand signal to know what what kind of film you're saluting. And I'm gonna do that all the way to the end when I see the next movie, and I can't wait. So I, now I'm not gonna bore you guys with too much talking. So that's my uh, illustrated book of the Hunger Games. Show you a couple of pictures. You know, show some love to this franchise because I'm going to keep watching the films all the way to the last one. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. And leave your comments on, uh, you know, if you, if you do enjoy the films. If you don't, that's fine. Just don't be an asshole and say, oh, you don't know what a good movie is. Believe me, I do. Trust me. I'm, I'm literally counting the days until Age of Ultron comes out, and I cannot wait for that. Avengers all the way. So see you guys later. Peace.